First of all, just some initial notes uh, before I actually start the video. The first is, uh, the information that I used that is not my own is all linked down below. So if you want to go there and read a little deeper, uh, you you might guess. So, uh, second of all, I have by my side my computer where I wrote some stuff that I may or may not need to read. So if you see me staring at the side, it's because of my computer that is there. Third thing. I am not a natural English speaker. My first language is not English. Therefore, if I make any grammatical or vocabulary... Uh, well, I I'm already making it. But if I make any mistake uh, during the video, I'm sorry. It's just because I'm still training English. And I guess that's it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Today's topic uh, is why I do not consider contemporary art like art at all. It's involved on this critic a little bit of the modern art. I'm not telling, I'm not saying like Picasso's work or Toulouse-Lautrec's work and so on. There are many modern artists that I do appreciate a lot, but uh, this critic also extends a little to modern artists. Most part of uh, the things that I'm going to say are directed to the artwork produced between the 60s and nowadays. So, that being said, now I can begin. We all probably heard that old tale called Emperor's New Clothes from Hans Christian Andersen and uh, when it says that, may I quote, uh, the swindlers persuaded the emperor to buy an invisible suit and the emperor was delighted to parade naked through the streets because they told him, Your majesty, to a wise man this is a beautiful raiment, but to a fool it is absolutely invisible. That tale and that phrase, that sentence can be applied to nowadays contemporary works. How? May I say that Contemporary art usually divides people into groups, the ones that claim to understand it and the ones that do not understand any of it, because there is nothing to understand about contemporary art. Those people, pseudo, can you say that in English? I say that in Portuguese, but uh, fake intellectuals uh, that claim to understand that art are merely making assumptions because there is nothing to understand on a blank canvas hanging on the wall. I am sorry if I'm offending, but that's my opinion. There is nothing to understand about a blank canvas on the wall, or just a little bit of paint splashed on a canvas, and there's nothing to understand about it. Why? The reason why there is nothing to understand about it is that you can put someone, uh, for example, let's say, um, watching the spring from Botticelli and you can put a person that has a lot of knowledge about art and someone that has several informations about the styles and the ways that the painter painted that and both of them and that person will find it beautiful and interesting and majestic but you can also put someone that has no knowledge about any of those art uh, things and they will find it just as beautiful, because when you find, when you look at this, uh, those um, paintings and works that were made uh, some centuries ago, you can clearly see what is being portrayed. You can see that there's a woman and there's uh, a lot of uh, people behind that woman and you can understand what is being portrayed there, you can understand the aesthetics and you don't need actually someone to explain what is there. Of course, there may be a meaning behind that painting. But even if you don't understand the meaning, you understand the image. And there's the thing, you understand the image. When you look at contemporary art, there may be no image. The image might be completely blurry. The image uh, might be indecent. And, um, well, there are many cases. But the thing is, very few of us can understand that. So. 
that's the gap that contemporary art creates. That leads me to the second argument, that contemporary art is a bit like a rebellious teenager that uses its power of shock to gain popularity and fame. Nowadays, society prizes creativity and innovation. That's good, I'm not against that, of course not. Uh, but you can prize, you can't prize creativity just for the sake of creativity. You can prize creativity because it's creative. Because when someone is creative, they create something. They have the power, they have the power to create something. But you have to know what they are creating, first of all. One of the arguments that many modern art defenders use nowadays is that it is art because the artist said it was art. This art because it has never been done before. So, and then, it's just because no one has ever done it before. It's just for the sake of that reason. It doesn't matter the aesthetics. It doesn't matter if people can understand it. It just, just doesn't matter. It is there because it has never been done before. I don't know if you can see that, but I can clearly see a really descending line from what art was, let's say, three centuries ago to what it is today. And I'm sorry to say that, but there's logic in this, in this thought. Because nowadays, art has no purpose but defining moral concepts and in order to seem intellectual and intelligent. When will art be art and polit politics be politics? There, I don't, I, I'm not against a little bit of interference between both of them. Uh, art has the power to get to a lot of people. But what I'm saying here is that nowadays everything is full of politics and politics and political opinions. Well, I guess this video is getting uh, long already and I'm going to stop right here. But I guess I made my point by saying that art, modern art and contemporary art um, are not to be considered art. That is my opinion and I love to hear, hear yours. Uh, and hear the arguments you guys have to show if you like. Anyways, thank you for the attention and we'll see each other again soon, I hope. Or let's say, like once I was in the MoMA and I had and I was walking and I found several rooms that were painted like for with forest patterns and then there was arm, there were arm and genitals just hanging off the the, the wall and of course they were fake. Uh, that's that's important to say that they were fake because there was never the law. Uh, because first of all all the information that I took from the articles uh, to make this video are blah 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 blah.